good morning party people been experiencing some negative progression of automotive repairs basically what that means is you get in there to do a job and you find other things busted and broke then it, the proper thing to do or the right thing to do is to fix that stuff too however if you're not at the shop and got a parts department, you got to wait for parts. Hostage situation. So, that's where I'm at right now in the San Jose, California area. Fetching and ordering parts almost daily. Kind of a tough thing. You know, that's why it's near impossible to give people estimates on what it'll cost to take care of their vehicles. Uh, we plan to do one thing and we get there and that list just grows and grows and grows until somebody runs out of money. <laughs> just the way it is. You know, the goal is to make the car safe. However, when you got somebody that can do the job at a drastically reduced price and maybe save a little time like to take advantage of that so I understand I was supposed to check out and leave this area two three days ago I'll probably be here another five six days mm, mm, mm. now I have a couple people that are a little challenged financially I meet those people all the time I mean I expect that you know who drives around in a 27 28 year old car people that are usually a little financially challenged you know so that's why I say hey cover my hard expenses I don't gain anything from you paying my hotel bill and my gas expenses that's no profit for me but if I'm at home I don't have those expenses trying to encourage people to understand unfortunately because of the way I move around, that's not my expenses, it's yours. If if you don't agree, I can pack my bag and go home. You know, not trying to be, you know, funny about it. It's just what it is. I'm out here trying to help other people, trying to help them save some money, trying to get things done. Man, some of these cars ain't been on the road five, ten years. I'm trying to help these situations out now. I tell people, and you guys know I got these helper tours, where it helps people to save money. Some of the people I meet, man, they got way more money than I got. They own million dollar houses. They own $100,000 boats. They got a two or three $50,000 cars. They got a villa. They got a satellite. They got all the new gadgets. Man, I, I'm not trying to judge nobody, but I'm going to make a judgment call. If I come to your location and you got two houses, five boats, ten cars, six wives, All the new gadgets, a satellite, and a bank account with $50,000 in it, and an investment account with $4 million in it. Man, don't ask me to discount my rates. Don't don't just, just say, hey, how much is the total? Pay the total. Now, on the other hand, if you're working paycheck to paycheck, and you got one car, maybe two. You got a couple of kids you're trying to take care of. Maybe got some expense and, you know, trying to keep your small business afloat. Or had to put a child in school or something like that. And, and you got less than $5,000 in the bank and you need my help, man, I'd like to help you out. If, if you cover my expense, 
and pay me whatever you can above that. I'm thrilled. And I, a lot of people have met me. A lot of people have had my help. A lot of people see me come and go. And I usually give people a cost of my services. The low number is what it costs me to be there and help them. What it costs for my hotels, what it costs for my gas, what it costs for a meal or two, what it costs for the parts that I had to go to the salvage yard or to the parts department and get for them. That's the hard cost. And then I say, I've been helping you for eight hours. Eight hours at $50 an hour, 400 bucks. So, total cost might be $750. Usually, if I've worked on your car for eight hours, I've done several things that probably would have cost you minimum $800 at any shop, probably up to $1,600. So my $800 tab is, is, is normally 50 cent on a dollar to a reputable shop. I say, hey, my hard cost is 300, my labor is 400, that's pay me between 300 and 700. Man, there are people that have paid me the 300 and I'm fine with that. But man, I, I wanna encourage you guys I don't ask you for a financial statement or an application for a low cost repair but if you know that you got more money than me that that you got fifty seventy hundred twenty thousand dollars in the bank or an investment account man don't don't take advantage of me and and pay me three hundred dollars on the seven hundred dollar bill you know that's just just not right you know so, now let me say that hasn't happened often but it has happened you know I even got people that want to change the rules when they're running up their cars hey Robert uh, we're gonna replace these two wheel bearings replace the wheel bearings mmm brake lines leaking all right let's throw on brake lines mmm found a bad control arm mmm dang brake shoes are bad wow look at that hole in that exhaust oh man look at that look at this running the cost up oh man we were only supposed to do the uh, rotors I was expecting to pay 150 bucks you telling me you want $800 I done done $1,400 worth of work ran around town getting parts Back and forth to the junkyard, everywhere else. Pay what you want. Again, if you are living on a budget because you just don't have a lot of income, man, I'm I'm thrilled to be able to help you. But if you got five hundred thousand dollars in the bank and you make it four or five thousand dollars a week, man, pay pay the bill, man. Just pay the bill little business meeting there now I also want to encourage you folks that think you got problems man I'm willing to rebound back here maybe this fall so if there's a situation where you have pending repairs maintenance or even a, a bigger project man I'm I'm probably willing to come back this fall and play catch up. I got a buddy that needs a clutch in his car. Man, we test drove his car. He was like, hit it, Robert, hit it, hit it. Something in my brain was like, nope, don't hit it, Robert, don't hit it. The very next day, his clutch exploded. Dang, I wish I had the time and could afford. Man, why don't one of you guys hit the lottery and just split it with me and I could travel around and do this stuff for free? Drop $45 million in my bank, and I'm sure that would be enough for me to travel around and not need to give anybody no bill until my body couldn't do it no more. I probably have a couple million left over at the end of the day. 
And then nobody have a bill out. I could buy everybody's parts, everything. Drop $45 million in my bank account. By the time my body's wore out, I can't do it no more. I might have two, three million left to, to sit around and enjoy some fishing with. So anyway, but if you got some other pending repair, don't be afraid to let me know. And I'll put that stuff down in my notebook and we could probably double back and do that. Just gotta, you know, cover some expenses. And I'm, I'm glad to help you out, you know. I haven't found any hotel chain yet that Diane is comfortable staying in that will let us stay for free. Until that happens, you know, we got expenses to cover. Not quite sure what's on this video. Probably more of that manual swap. That thing was going slow, running into other things, uh, being distracted mostly by uh, distance and the lack of uh, tools, parts, and stuff like that. But I'm going to hit that car hard today, man. I'm about to get with it. I got a couple of parts I need to ship to a couple people. Somebody asked me to get corner markers and send them overseas. I can't find your message. If you request me to get you a part, please remind me weekly because sometimes I had a part and I can't remember who I got a part for. And if you request me to get parts and I happen to snag them from the salvage yard, don't stick me with that bill, man. I, I've gotten to the point where nine times out of 10, I require a deposit. But occasionally, I think I can't find a part. I go out there and I see it, I grab it. Then the people don't want to pay for it. Got me running around holding their tab. That's what I call it. So if that's where I'm at. Hope you enjoyed today's clips. And if you're on the schedule, hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert. That's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. You pull and pay. I think somebody said they needed one uh, fuel. Fill her neck from one of these cars. I don't know if that's disconnected or cut. Ah, it looks like it's the hose is cut, but that should be fine. See if I can get that released. Upping them down here. There's that 960 last chance to get that. Oil cooler block off plate. Let's see if I get that thing loose. These things are hard to get loose. So tight down here. Got this lower light for that white T5 down there at the parking facility. I'm gonna hit another yard and try to get a couple more parts. I wish I knew what upper tail that car needed. I hate to grab the wrong one. But we'll see. We get out of here, hit the next yard. I'm here at the Newark pick and pull. Man, this is a freaking huge yard. And it seems like the cars stay out here for a long time. I'm out here checking on a few parts for Darren and for some other people and boy this yard is freaking huge I think the cars that I'm looking for are on are between rows 179 and 190 I haven't seen a Volvo yet so it seems like they put them in certain areas freaking yard is huge so I'm going down this way that's row 156 and I'm looking for the 170s this it's further down than this this 
yard is probably as big as the one in Albuquerque. Huge salvage yard. So, here we go. P80s. Starting at row 160. Looks like an all-wheel drive. V70. Ninety-nine or two thousand. Up, oh, it's a two thousand. Got the newer ECU. Huh? Could be ninety-nine. Got the crossbars. Let's see if we can find something that's useful to me. Man, a lot of cars down here. Good lord. Audis, BMWs, Volvos. Ah, it's another one of these teal 960s. And these things are beautiful. I think somebody needed the sunroof trim out of this. Who did I just do a roof liner with? I'm going to grab that. Somebody needs it. Beautiful white 960. Mm, mm, mm. It's like a 97 or something. It's an S90, 98. Somebody's tearing up these center consoles for some reason. I'm going to take this trim out of here in the ceiling. People need that. Look at that. Sun visor staying up. That's hard to find. This roof liner looks new. Yeah, somebody's replaced that. That's cool. I'm gonna get this antenna switch. People like those. Man, look at this dark Berber carpet in the back. And it's got a CD changer up here. And the floor mats are Berber. Oh, they just dropped this car. This car hadn't been uh, molested yet. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.